Hey everybody, how's it going? Kevin Freebie here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the NXV 210 by Bergantino Audio Systems. All right, so first things first, I wanna go ahead and say thank you for watching this video. I wanna say thank you for coming by the channel. I know that time is our most precious commodity and I do not take it for granted that you're choosing to spend the time with me. Now let's get into this. The NXV210, what does it mean? What makes it different? Well, we're gonna talk about all that and more importantly, we're gonna do a good bit of playing and listening. So as you're looking at the cabinet, you're probably gonna notice that it's quite a departure from the normal Bergantino sort of look and vibe. Okay, the normal Bergantino stuff has this really kind of cool stealth all black with a metal grill and then you just see that green Bergantino logo. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. However, I think that they might have one-upped themselves with this. I mean, if you look at it, it's an absolutely stunning looking cabinet. I love kind of the throwback vibe. You have this black Tolex, you have this nice cloth grill. I really like the look of the front port. The NXV stands for Neo Extreme Vintage 210. Once again, two 10 inch speakers, that's where the 210 comes from, N for Neo. X for extreme, V for vintage. One of the things that I found very interesting when I heard about it was the fact that it does not have a tweeter. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little concerned. I play lots of different styles of music, some of which being pop music and top 40 music. And so you might want more of a quote unquote modern sort of, I think of it as like a zingy sort of sound with a good bit of treble. And so I was worried about the idea of there not being a tweeter. Although the cabinet seems to be geared towards more vintage fans, I found that it is completely versatile and can do all of the zingy things that I need. Now, when I do want that extra zing, I hit the bright switch on my Bergantino amplifier and that helps out greatly. What I found is between those two things, between this cabinet and the bright switch here, I didn't feel myself ever wanting for more from the high frequencies. The cabinet is very full range. I typically play a 210 with a tweeter paired with a 112 with a tweeter. So I normally have two tweeters in my setup. Um, this and what I'm miking is just gonna be just the two tens. Once again, I know that I keep saying this, but no tweeter, okay? I don't know why I wanna drive that point home so much. And I think it's because I'm still really, really impressed that this thing sounds as versatile as it does and it has no tweeter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for the video is I'm gonna go ahead and provide a bunch of 30 second clips in various styles. Everything ranging from something kind of old school with a very round sound, no treble, all the way to things that are very modern that need clarity and they need a little extra zing on top. When they do need that clarity and that extra zing, I'm gonna engage the bright switch. I'll make sure to notate that at the bottom of the screen so that you know when that switch is engaged and when it isn't, okay? At the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and list all the tech specs, because if you're anything like me, you do care about those things, but you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get to the playing part of the demo, and then you're gonna to wanna to check out the tech specs later. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that right now, and enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.